next Turk channel. Another character reviewed uh, reveal just happened for the city arcade, so I'm gonna do a reaction the best as I can. I'm kind of tired, so it's like don't expect me to get like super hype. I've been I had a pretty long day, so um, pretty busy day I should say, for the most part. But nonetheless. I should probably put it on, but okay, man, no, I'm just gonna keep my hair like this. So, right, so, pretty much, uh, with Final Fantasy Union again, they've actually were able to get the Dissidia Final Fantasy X Death Spotlight trailer. Now, I will say I'm not, like, a huge fan of that, uh, that villain because... I didn't much care for the backstory, and that's just me, or Final Fantasy V in general. I mean, it's okay, I mean, it's not like my best favorite ones, you know. Before my, uh, and, and mostly it's because um, I had the collection for the PlayStation 1 was called the, um, and not Anthology, but the other one, Chronicles, I think, or uh, no, cr no. Yeah, I think Chron no, Chronicles of Four and Chrono Trigger. So, um, Final Fantasy V is with Anthology. Yeah, five and six. Which I played a little bit of five before the disc started messing up. Which I might need to just buy a new disc for that. But nonetheless, five wasn't oh, it wasn't my favorite game. So I'm not like too hyped. But I expected that they're gonna do the villains first and get that roster filled get that roster filled up before they start doing, you know, um, any more heroes. So we're not going to get Noctis for a while. You're just going to have to deal with it. We're not going to get Noctis for a long while. So, you know, that's just something we're going to have to, you know, adjust to. So, without further ado, I don't want to bore you to death. I'm going to be seeing this in full screen so I can actually do a reaction. Okay. Ooh, it looks better on full screen. On the PC. Stay racking with my phone. Hey, you know what? I'm going to switch over here. This won't take off the thing, but yeah, I won't see the view this soon. That way, I can see it too. Impressive. Oh, the gameplay looks a lot better. Is the you know character model looks a little bit better, and they added some new attacks I haven't seen before. The only thing I hope is they don't make them slow, because in the other city games they made way too slow. All right, that was X Death. Okay, that was X Death. Well. It, it looks like he's faster now. That's good news. I mean, the only if I do play X Death on uh, the City Final Fantasy the City of Games, I mostly like to play the this uh, X X Death when he's not in the armor, just because he looks more badass when he doesn't have the armor. So I hope the second costume uh, that if they do show off a second costume for him, you know, for the rest of the villains, which they probably will, because they had Sephiroth's Kingdom Hearts and they had Kefka's. Kefka's other, you know, stuff, so it's not too impossible to say that there that there might be another, the alternate costume might be the one where he's not in the armor suit because he looks more badass when he's not in the suit, just, 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 just me saying. I like the game, but I just hope they make him faster because they nerfed him in the original Dissidia, like, and Dual Destin because they just moved over characters from the original Dissidia, they made him real slow, like, you, you, I mean, you would have to know how to be a mage. Like, you're gonna pretty much have to play like a mage. Pretty much long distance is your probably your best bet for when you play as X Death in the older games. So I'm glad. I hope they make him faster, and they don't nerf him. Like they make him at least balanced than they were when they made him in the original Sidious. And I hope that they get the alternate outfit because I like the alternate uh, skin for X Death more than I do the armor one. 
even though the armor one's a classic because he's the Final Fantasy V's biggest villain, I liked his uh, non-armor thing a lot better. I most likely would play X Death for when when he does not have the armor on because that's just it's just my type. But five wasn't always my big favorite. But you know, if if, if they could in arcade give X Death the second skin he had when he was in regular Dissidia and do a Destin where he where he has no armor on, that'd be pretty cool if they could, you know, do that. Without further ado, this has been my reaction to Dissidia X Death Spotlight Trailer. Sorry, I don't have much hype. I've been very busy, so I'm really tired out, and it's like I, right now I can't even do anything of this point right now because I'm super tired from uh, my busy day. So you gotta forgive me for that at least. So. But also, I think they're going to try and fill up the rest of the villains. Like, they're going to fill up the rest of the villains slot before they before they get to um, the hero slot. So we're not going to be seeing Noctis for a while. Just to let you know, we're not going to be seeing Noctis for a while. Or any of the extra heroes they could supposedly put in there from each game. You know, so I wouldn't hold your hopes up for Noctis at, to this point right now. Because, I mean, we still got more stuff to go. We still got Cloud of Darkness to go. We still have... I'm trying to think of what else. Gabranth, Judge Gabranth to go through again. We still got Jack. If he's still going to be the villain in the City Arcade. We still got Jack that we need to put in the game. And they might throw in the Final Fantasy 11 and 14 villains as well. Which, that'd be cool if they did. And, um... They might actually put a villain for 13 for once, so we could be either seeing a Sid Reigns or Bartandalonis. I mean, I want to see a Caius personally in Final Fantasy and the Final Fantasy 13 villains bracket for the City Arcade, but they only focus on the main games only. They don't focus on spin-offs, and you know, unless unless the unless the characters from the original. But if they're specifically spin-off, I'm pretty sure more likely it's going to probably be DLC. Because they really don't do spin-offs for the City of Games. Which, understandably so. This is a fighting game. And you need to have the characters everybody recognizes. That everybody instantly knows. No one's going to know spin-off games like Dirt Cerberus, Crisis. Not everybody's going to know, you know spin-off games like Crisis Core, Dirt Cerberus. Or Final Fantasy XIII 2. Or Lightning's Return Final Fantasy XIII. They're not going to know, you know, spinoffs unless they're big fans of the series. So they're really focusing more on main games, if anything else. They're focusing on mostly main games in the series. So we're not going to be seeing that for a while. So you might as, you know, I know I'm probably going to get a dislike for that, but, you know, we're not going to be seeing Noctis for a while. And I, you know, I understand the upset and anger about that. I mean, it kind of, but they have to finish the villain bracket. They still got to finish Jack, Cloud of Darkness. Judge Gabranth and whoever they pick for the Final Fantasy 13 villain bracket, then they'll probably go back with heroes because actually they would probably get the villains from you know 11 and 14, you know, whatever they pick for their villains for 11 and 14 because they're probably gonna fill up all the villain and hero brackets together in this one. They're gonna be then they're gonna go back to heroes, so you might you might see Noctis and the end. Which, because Noctis was, is more likely to happen than any of the spinoff characters. Because because Noctis is from Final Fantasy XV. You know, and they mostly focus on main games. So, they're probably not going to see General Glocka as Final Fantasy XV's villain. Your possible choices for villains for Final Fantasy XV. Uh, for Final Fantasy XV's villain in the City Arcade would be Arden. Idolus Outer Crap or Ravis Nox Floray. I mean, I can't really do Ephraim because Ephraim's a summon, technically, so you can't really do that. So, and he'd be too big for the map, so it'd more likely be Arden, uh, Idolus, or Ravis for the Final Fantasy 15 villain bracket for the City of Arcade. I'm okay with whoever they pick, but it's more likely those ca character and, uh, that are the candidates. For Final Fantasy XV's bra villain bracket, one of those characters, of course, one might be a DLC, and one might not even be in the game at all. But nonetheless, nonetheless, 
nonetheless. Nonetheless. They still need to finish the rest of the villain bracket before they announce any more heroes, so I kind of figured that they would go for X-Death because, again, they still got a few more villains to put out there for all the heroes, and they might even put, they might even put the Bloody Angel from Final Fantasy Tactics in this one, too, because... You know, Ramza is the main care is one is the main character in the city arcade. So they might throw in Bloody Angel, and because Bloody Angel is the final boss in Tactics. I mean, if it gets enough demand, of course. They only remember the city is a good game, but the city is mostly fan service at best because how they get the costumes and stuff like that, and then they have the Kingdom Hearts costumes for the Final Fantasy characters. Square Enix is trying to follow what the fan base wants. In fact, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past you that there was a, before the city of the first one ever came out that they put a survey of what fans wanted. So that you know, the city is more of a fan service game rather than its own established thing, which just makes sense because it's a fighting game. And in fighting games, you do have to put fan stuff in there. I mean, look how Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi Three was on uh, PlayStation Two. They put in the extra characters that you never thought would be in, in any game. You know, or Naruto Ninja Storm 4, same thing. They put in characters that you never thought would be possible in a game. You know, and as well as some Tekken games like Tekken 6 and and stuff like that. You know, you know the point is, because it's a fighting game, and you know, your basic fighting games are going to have the most popular characters. Now, I believe if this gets put on consoles, they'll be able to fit at least a good roster. They probably, the story mode is probably going to be really short, so you're more likely, instead of having big cutscenes in the game, you're more likely to actually have fights that involve the story mode, just like the other decisions, except it won't be a chess thing. You'll be walking around the map, fighting the villains, and you know, when you get to Spiritus' lair, and you fight Spiritus, and he's hard, so you're going to have to fight some extra villains, or beat every single story, you know. You'll probably get to pick a character that you get to level up with, so... You know, but it'd probably be a hero, of course. So you'd probably be able to choose Cloud, uh, Warrior of Light, Lightning, etc. But they still gotta finish the villain brackets for Arcade before they announce another hero. So wait patiently for Noctis. Wait very patiently. It will happen. I guarantee you, because Noctis is a popular character too. So may the crystal be with you. And this has been my reaction. Tell me what you think of the comments below. Uh, also, comment what you think should be a DLC character or DLC map for the City Arcade as well.